It's been over a year since I made my original video on how to create combination listings using Printify for your Etsy print on demand business. That has been one of my most popular videos on the POD Insights channel, and I'm happy that it's helped a lot of people. But since I made it, a lot of things have actually changed. There are several screens now, both on Printify and on Etsy, that look a little different than they did at the time I made the video. So I thought that it would be a great time to make an updated video showing the current screens and the current process that I go through to create combination listings for your Etsy print-on-demand shop using Printify. All right, so this process is gonna start with creating a template that you can reuse every time you wanna make a combo listing. And we only have to do this part one time, thankfully. This is gonna take a few minutes to get set up depending on how many variations uh, you want to have in these combination listings. But once you create this template, then what you'll do is you'll go to your drafts folder of your listings page on Etsy and you will copy it for each new one that you wanna make. So you never want to actually publish this template. You just wanna use it to copy and create new listings each time. Before we start on this, I do wanna mention the things that have not changed since the last time I made this video. What's still true is you can only have one shipping profile per listing. So you only want to combine products that have similar enough shipping costs so that you can use the same shipping profile for all of the products in the listing. Now, the easiest way to do that is just to offer free shipping on everything in the listing and build your shipping cost into each individual product type, because then you're guaranteed to be getting the correct amount for shipping for each type of product that you combine. But if you don't wanna do free shipping or if you really just can't because the product price would be too high, then you need to make sure that you're okay with charging one shipping price for every item that you're gonna combine into this listing, because you can only have one. All right, so let's get started on our template. I'm going to do basically the same process that I did in my original video. We're gonna create a template for a combination listing where I sell t-shirts, sweatshirts, and hoodies, three types of apparel in one listing. And even though this is the new listing workflow with the links across the top where you can jump to a section, I still need to go through this from top to bottom when I'm creating it from scratch. So let's start with the title. So I like to just call this template t-shirt sweatshirt hoodie so I know exactly what it is when I'm looking at it in my drafts folder. And you have to add at least one photo in order to save this to your draft. So what I like to do is get my uh, size charts uploaded. If you have like one size chart or a color chart or something like that, that's gonna be the same every time. Go ahead and upload those into the template. That way you don't have to upload them when you create the actual listings. For the description, what I recommend doing in the template is just to include a breakdown of the different product types. So of course, the product description at the top is gonna change with each listing you make that describes the design. But for the rest of it, whatever you normally want to include about you know, the specific type of garment, as well as maybe your return policies, all of that kind of stuff, just put that in the template because it'll save you time later. So once you get all of that added in there, now we can keep moving on. Under price and quantity, I'm gonna skip that. And notice that it's telling me I need to choose a category for the product before I can enter variations. So that's actually in the section below it. And the variations is where we're gonna spend most of our time here. But since we need to do the category first, let's jump down here to the details. Under core details, we're gonna need to add this. So it is a physical item. So we're gonna select another person or company. It is a finished product and it is made to order. And then of course you wanna select your uh, production partner. In this case, I'm using Printify and click apply on that. Now we can select a category. Now, because this is gonna be three products, basically you just need to choose one and uh, you can go with the one that you think maybe is gonna sell the most or whatever you wanna do. I'm just gonna put t-shirts for this one. Now we can actually scroll back up and do our variations. This is where we're gonna spend uh, the most time, uh, investment of time for creating the template. So we can only add two variations to a listing. That is still the case, that has not changed. But we actually have three different variations for this listing, right? We have size and color. Normally those are our two variations, but in this case we also have product type or garment type. So what we need to do is combine that garment type variation with either size or color. And personally, I like to combine the garment type with the size because then the size and the garment type read together in the same dropdown separate from the color. So what we need to do is click on create your own here. And now we need to give this variation a name. So I'm gonna put type and size as the name for this variation. Now we need to add all of our combinations here. So we're gonna have small through I'm gonna do double XL. So small through double XL for t-shirt, sweatshirt, and hoodie. Each of those is going to have five variations. So that means three products, five variations. So I need to add 15 different variations here. And so the way you wanna list this is t-shirt, 
S like that. Now I'm gonna save myself a little time by at least copying this beginning here and now I'll hit enter and then I'll paste in the t-shirt part and I'll just put medium, paste it in, large, paste it in, extra large. Now I'm gonna keep doing this until I've done the same, small through two XL for t-shirt, sweatshirt, and hoodie. All right, there we go. I've got all 15 in there. We've got t-shirt, sweatshirt, and hoodie, all small through two XL. So now we can click on done. All right, so now we've got our type and size variation created with all 15 options. Now our second variation needs to be the color. And I would personally recommend just creating it as a custom variation because if you choose primary color like that, we just choose the default one that Etsy gives us there as primary primary color, and then let's say we select two colors, black and white, what will happen, and I don't know why this is, but what, what seems to happen every time is when you choose primary color, Etsy places that variation first in order, meaning it, it puts it on top of your type and size option. And the reason why I don't like that is because the first one that's listed here, the one that's on top, that's gonna be the furthest left column. So that means your variations will be grouped by that option first. They'll be grouped by color. That is not the most efficient way to have them organized later when it's time to copy the SKU numbers over. I like to actually just create my own. So click on create your own and then just put color and then under the options, put the colors that you intend to use. Now, I do wanna mention that for these combination listings, the more products you offer and the more colors you offer, the more work it's gonna to be to create these listings. So I don't personally recommend doing more than two or three color options for these. So I'm gonna leave mine at black and white for this example. So we can click done now. So now you can see it's allowed the type and size to be on top the first variation. And what you wanna do on the bottom here is make sure that these boxes are checked off. You wanna have all of these selected so that the prices, quantities, and SKUs vary for both variations. It should list both of your variations here. Once you get all of that completed and these are in the correct order, go ahead and click apply. And then you will have a full listing of all of your product type and color variations listed out here. You should have 30 of them if you did two colors like I did. And now maybe you can see a little bit better what I was talking about by putting them in the right order. With type and size as that first uh, variation, now you'll actually see the products grouped together by type rather than by color. So you've got t-shirt small black, t-shirt small white. You'll see the same products grouped together. Now you can go ahead and fill out the quantity and your pricing in the template so you don't have to do it later. Uh, I do like to use this little checkbox in the top left corner to just select everything and then update the quantity. We're just gonna put our max quantity here of 999. And then you can go ahead and do your pricing. Now this should also be easier with the products grouped together because the pricing is different by product and potentially by size depending on how you do your pricing, uh, you're not going to want to just enter one price for everything, but go ahead and select all of the ones that will have the same price and then use the update price button. Now we can go ahead and proceed with the rest of the listing. We already did the category and the core details. You don't really need to fill out any of the other attributes. You don't need to do the tags because that's going to vary by the design that we actually are using for our listing. You can assign the shipping profile to it now. So if you have a shipping profile created, go ahead and assign the shipping profile that you intend to use for your combo listings. If you don't have one, you're gonna to need to create one that you wanna use for your combo listings. But whatever your strategy is for free shipping or not free shipping, if you are charging for shipping, just make sure that your price makes sense for all the products that you have in here. Now under settings, you can apply your shop policy here. Mine is no returns or exchanges. Under shop section, you don't have to select anything now or you can if you want to, you can put it under a shop section. For renewal options, I always select manual. I've talked about this many times in other videos. I do not want listings renewing automatically when they don't sell for four months. That does not have any impact whatsoever on listings renewing when they sell. This is only what happens if it doesn't sell for four months. So I always do manual there. Now, the important part for this step is to save this as a draft only. We're not publishing this. We're just gonna save it as a draft to use it as our template. So right here in the corner where you have save as draft or publish, make sure that you only click on save as draft. All right, now we can move on to actually creating a listing using our template. So when it's time to create a new listing, come to your drafts folder of your listings page. You'll find that on the right side of the listings page menu right over there under drafts, and then find the correct draft if you have multiple in here. 
go to the little gear icon in the corner and select copy so that we can create a new listing and that will keep our draft template intact so we can keep reusing it. That will create a copy of your template and bring you into a new listing workflow. So the first thing to do for the actual listing itself, of course, is to give it the real title that you're going to use and then you want to add your mockups. Now, when you do this, this process of creating combination listings, you are gonna need to add mockups manually. So if you want to use the ones Printify provided, just download them from the preview page. After you create the design, go to the preview page and download mockups from there that you want or create your own mockup separately or use a mockup service like Placeit. However you get your mockups, you're gonna need to download them and then upload them here into the listing manually. You may also wanna try and find a mockup for the primary thumbnail that actually shows multiple products that shows your design on the different product types that you're gonna offer or kind of create your own that shows more than one just so somebody can tell from the search results uh, that there are more options than just you know, than just one. So I'm just uploading the one here so we can keep moving with the process. But of course you wanna upload all of your mockups. Go ahead and adjust your thumbnail while you're at it. So make sure that your design is nice and prominent and easily visible in your primary thumbnail that will show in search results. Scroll down to your description here. Of course, you want to add your description that applies to this specific design. So what, whatever your normal process is for writing your description, you wanna put that in the top here now. All right, moving right along, we can skip over personalization because this design is not personalized but you could add personalization to a combo listing if you wanted to. Like, for example, if you wanted to offer this exact design with the year on it and allow the customer to enter the year that they went on their family trip, you could add personalization. Of course, you're gonna have to then personalize their order before it goes to production when they place an order, but that is an option that you have with combo listings. All right, so now when we get to the variation section, we have our prearranged type and size along with color options. And here's where the work comes in for creating the actual listing because now we're gonna copy over these SKU numbers for each product variation from our Printify account. But of course, before we do that, we need to go to our Printify account and create the actual drafts of the listings so that we can copy over these SKU numbers. All right, so in your Printify account, what you want to do is get your drafts created for each of these products. So I've got a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and a hoodie all created here. We'll just pop open the t-shirt here. So this is my sample design that I'm using. I'm creating a family vacation set of t-shirt, sweatshirt, and hoodie here. So I've got my t-shirts, white and black, sizes small through 2XL selected. When I save the product, and go to the listing details, all you need to do is change the title to basically what you need it to be so that you know what it is in your Printify account. You don't have to edit the description. You don't have to do anything with shipping. You don't have to do anything with prices. And most importantly, you do not want to publish this. You don't need to publish this to your Etsy account at all. All you need to do is save this as a draft in your Printify account. So in the bottom right corner of the screen for each of these products, make sure you select save as draft and do not publish. So get each of the products created that you're planning on using for this combo listing. I've got my sweatshirt and my hoodie here as well. And then do not worry about the status. Do not worry about it being unpublished. It's not going to matter. The only thing that we need to do to make sure your orders automatically sync to your Printify account is copy the SKU numbers for each product variation into the Etsy listing. That is what Printify looks for on incoming orders from your Etsy store. All it's looking for is matching up a SKU number on a product variation on the order to a product SKU number in your Printify account. So now we're gonna go through the process of copying these SKU numbers for these three products in both color options in all of the sizes over into our listing so that we can publish it. All right, so the way I like to do this, if you have one computer monitor, what I like to do is open these in separate browser tabs or separate browser windows and put them side by side because that'll make copying and pasting over the SKU numbers a lot more efficient. If you have dual monitors, you can just put one of these on each screen and you're good to go. On the left, we've got our Etsy listing with our blank SKU number fields for each product and color combination. On the right, we've got our Printify account with our draft listings here. So starting with the t-shirt because that is what we see first in our Etsy listing. If we just open that listing in Printify, we can scroll down to the variants section. So these are organized by size. As you can see, if we expand the small size, we will see the SKU numbers here for both the black and the white options. And that lines up nicely with what we have organized in our Etsy listing. As you can see, we've got t-shirt small, black, white. They're nice and in order here. So that'll make copying and pasting the SKUs a little bit more efficient. So in the Printify listing, just sort of double click 
on the SKU number. Don't worry about the fact that it looks like it's cut off. It will actually copy the whole thing. So just control C or command C and then come over to the field in your Etsy listing and paste it in. There we go, small black, we've got the SKU number. Just come back over to Printify and do the exact same thing for the white color option. Now we can move on to size medium. And again, it starts with black. So we'll copy that one, grab the white one, paste it over. And I'm gonna repeat this process for each remaining size here, large through 2XL. Thankfully, it's going in the exact same order here in our Etsy listing, but that's because we took the time to actually make sure that the product and size variant was the first option, not the color option. And then once I complete that, I'm just gonna back out of this listing in Printify and repeat this process for the sweatshirt and the hoodie. Now, once you've finished copying all those SKU numbers over, you can move on and complete the rest of that Etsy listing. But before I move on, I did want to stop and mention just to be super clear, again, you don't need to publish these listings from Printify to Etsy. The only thing that matters is copying the SKU numbers over as far as getting orders to sync. But that means you also do not want to delete these. You need to keep these as drafts in your Printify account because Printify needs to have these products here in order to match up the SKU number here to the SKU number on orders that are coming in. So make sure that you don't delete them. All right, so back to the Etsy listing. All we have to do now is make sure we've completed the remaining sections, including all the attributes that are relevant. If you have a specific occasion or holiday that you wanna select, just like any other listing, go ahead and make those selections. Of course, make sure you get your 13 tags completed in here. Don't forget to do that step. If you didn't select a shipping profile with your original template that you created, now would be the time to add that shipping profile. But if it was part of your template, it should already be there. You can add it to a shop section if you didn't already, or you don't have to if you don't want to. Make sure these final details here look correct. And then now you can actually hit publish on the listing and get this combo listing out there. And here we go, here's our live listing. Of course, you'd wanna have all the right mockups and everything in there, but just wanted to show you what it looks like as far as the selections on the right here that the customer has under type and size. There's your first variation. There you will see all of the different product and size combinations listed out with the pricing. So we've got t-shirt, sweatshirt, and hoodie all listed there. And then the second choice is your color selection. So that's how that shows up in both of the dropdowns. I also wanna point out something that has been asked in questions on my previous videos, and that is with these types of listings, there is no way to give the customer the ability to add more than one of these to the cart at the same time. So with this type of a design and this listing, if a customer wanted to buy you know, four of the T-shirts, they're gonna to have to do the selection for T-shirt size and color and then add it to their cart and then come back to the listing. So I just wanted to point that out. There's not anything that you can enable that will let a customer, you know, sort of use check boxes or something to add multiple of these to their cart at one time. They're gonna have to add them to their cart uh, for each separate one that they want, for each size and color combo that they want, they'll have to add that to their cart. All right, so that's it for the 2023 update on how to create combination listings using Printify with your Etsy print on demand business. I hope you found this updated tutorial helpful. Let me know in the comments if it was and if you have any remaining questions about how to create these listings with Printify and Etsy. If you did find it helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button so YouTube can show the video to more people. And don't forget to subscribe to the POD Insights channel. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.